Okay, so the instructions say with right sides together, lay the pocket pieces on top of the curved edge of the pants front. Okay, so we're gonna do it with both. Go ahead, you see the curved edge, you see the notches? There we go. Yep, your notches line up. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then you're gonna pin those down and get ready to stitch. Okay, if you're gonna stitch right here, just suggestion is to put your pins horizontal. So if you could, if you want to sew over them, that's fine, or it's easy to pull them out as you as you're gonna get ready to stitch. And we're gonna do a five eighth seam allowance right there. Okay, and the same thing over here. Stitched um, this piece on. What you're gonna do, you're gonna turn it so it looks like this, okay? So remember how you did the notches mm -hmm. when you were on the pattern piece? Let's do a few more notches because this is a curve and you wanna be able to turn it so it lies nicely and flat like this and you gotta release the tension off of this fabric. So it's really like a valley and we clip in the valleys. So make a few more notches just like this before we turn it. Okay, now you want to turn it, turn it over on the other side so it lies flat like this. And then we're going to press it. Turn it over, turn the whole piece over. There you go. And then you can make it line up. Just fold the seam down. Fold it like this. You're folding the pocket to the inside. Okay, like that. And then you're gonna press this, okay? And then it'll look like this. There you go. And hold the iron down on it and let the heat and steam do the work. Don't move back and forth. There you go. Hit the steam, just a tap. Okay. Yep. That's it. I think you're good. Yep. See how nicely this fabric presses nicely. So to understitch, you're gonna open up the pocket and you wanna under you wanna stitch down the seam to the pocket side. Okay? And that means an eighth of a stitch, of an inch um, stitch, to a back tag along the seam, stitching it down, following the curve. Okay. Stitching the seam down to the pocket side. that does that makes sure that the pocket will stay and have a nice clean finish because your hand is going to be in inside and out of this part part of the pocket and it gives it a nice finish and now we're going to apply the side front of the pant okay right sides together this is my piece <laughs> We're going to apply the side front to the pocket, line up, okay, and see how the notch is, is still right there? Match that notch. Okay, go ahead and place that one, just like this, okay? And we're not pinning to the front of the pant, we're just pinning the pocket piece. 
There you go. So you're gonna pin the side front to the pocket piece only because that's what you're gonna stitch. Okay, so remember that you're gonna be stitching right here. So put the pin horizontal where it points this way, just in case you wanna stitch over it and it's easy to pull the pins out. Okay, and then pin all the way around here and stop here, but only on the pocket, not the front pant piece. There you go. We stitch the pocket. So you wanna lay it. Lay it flat. See how nice that looks? Okay, so now just to stabilize the pocket before adding the, putting the pants together, you wanna baste right here on the side edge where the pocket is put together. You wanna baste here, maybe an eighth of an inch in, and you wanna baste at the top where the pocket and the side front are joined together. So you wanna baste a straight stitch across here, about the, across the top of the pant, and baste on the side edge. And basting is just stitching maybe, for, for this purpose, basting is just stitching maybe um, a quarter of an inch right here because your main seam is gonna be 5 eighths inch. So you wanna base about a quarter of an inch uh, right here until it's all stabilized and at the top. We have completed the pockets on the front. We did the pocket, we understitched it, we attached a side front, we basted it down on the top and the side, and those are done. Now we're gonna do the back pocket. And these are stickers that I pick up in a dollar store, okay? And the pocket placement, the back pocket placement is identified by the circles, okay? There's small circle here, there's large circle here. Small circle here on the pocket and a small circle. So what I do, I take stickers, and come here, Layla, so you can, do, you can do this. Okay, I take stickers and I place a sticker on the fabric where the pocket, where the circles are, so we can line them up. So go ahead and take the stickers and line it up on the fabric where the large circle is. On the fabric, on the fabric, yeah. So you just gotta reach under and place it. There you go. Okay, now place another sticker where the small circle is. On the fabric, there you go. Now do the same thing on the pattern piece of the pocket so that you can match them up when it's time to place it on the pant and uh, stitch it. Now that um, we've stitched the top of the pocket, we press the edges one quarter inch all the way around the square, the square pocket, and we turn down the top and stitched across the top. So now what you wanna do, Layla, is um, place the pocket between the circles on, on the pant. Right there, exactly. Because isn't that where the original circles were on the um, on the pocket itself? Mm -hmm. Right. So that's where the pocket gets placed. So now that you know, you lined up the circles, and that's where the pocket gets placed. So now we're going to pin all the way around so we can top stitch the pocket down onto the pant. Isn't that a nice contrast? That's going to be pretty, Layla. Layla made pockets. She made the front pockets and she made a back patch pocket with a contrast fabric. All right, we're going to put the pieces together and we'll have a pair of pants.